Welcome to the Better Together podcast, where we look for ways we can work together to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. Today, we have with us Travis Alexander. He's the mission director for the state of Arkansas, but he's got a lot of experience in a lot of different areas. Uh, Maybe one day we'll talk about his experience in the United States Marines. Uh, Some of you may know him from E-Team or from his ministry in Puerto Rico, but uh, Travis, you're really a busy man, my friend. I try to stay busy. <laughs> well, I think most people try to slow me down. Yeah, and and you, I'm going to say you just keep at it, buddy, because you're doing very good work. Now, I could talk to you about a lot of things, but today I want to talk to you about one of your roles there in the state of Arkansas, and that is being a rekindle coach. And so tell me a bit about rekindle coaching and what's happening in the state of Arkansas. Well, first of all, I appreciate you having me on today, and and it's always a uh, always a pleasure to talk about what the Lord's doing, as well as you know how uh, hurting churches, or at least churches that need to make some adjustments, how we can help them. And that's exactly what you know, rekindle, refresh is. Is you know we we we're able to meet with our churches and try to uh, try to just give them some direction. Uh, I I usually meet with leadership and say, hey, look, you know, I, I, is Dr. Dwyer says it's not a magic bullet, but uh, we we try to give them some tools and say, you know, we'll give you the tools, but you got to put them to work. And so in Arkansas, you know, uh, I just finished up uh, a few months ago, uh, a complete almost it was it took almost about nine months to go through the rekindle program. And uh, we're excited about uh, some of the changes that's already taken place in that church. Uh, but what we do here in Arkansas is, is of course, I promote it uh, on our Arkansas Missions Facebook page, as well as send emails out to pastors, uh, let them know the resources available, that I'm always willing to come and talk to them and the leadership of the church, uh, and just to give them the opportunity to ask questions. Uh, I think probably the uh, uh, the thing that most churches uh, are finding out is that uh, they necessarily don't feel like they're unhealthy and they may not be unhealthy. Uh, but what I tell them is there's, you know, we can always do better. Uh, and so, you know, we do the assessment with them and uh, you know, it's not that what we say about the church, but it's about what they're saying about their own church uh, through the the questions. And then we take that back and share the information and, and then uh, we try to identify some areas that they could do better in. And uh, it's, um, I've done several assessments. Uh, we've only done a couple actual rekindle programs. I think we've got uh, a couple in the pipe that we're getting ready to start. And so uh, I think with a lot of churches, there's a hesitancy about whether uh, it works, uh, you know, and, and uh, it, it does work if they will, uh, you know, take the steps forward. And so. That's good. So, uh, you're doing a lot of assessments with churches. You're, you've taken this church as of late. It was a nine month process and they've been, it's just what it took. You know, it sounds like you all got involved in that and you just kept working with them. But I like what you said, any church, all of our churches, we need, there are things we can work on. And so you're kind of alluding to how that's helped. So give us a little bit about what kinds of things, what kinds of ways the rekindle program is helpful to churches? Well, I do a, I do an exit survey with the churches that I go through the program. And so I just, it's a real short, maybe five or six questions, I believe that I send to them. Cause I think, you know, in order for me to be able to do the job better, I need to know what they, what worked and what didn't work. The most common thing I heard on the exit survey was, is, is how rekindle helped them to see that it was okay to do things different than they were doing before. Uh, and I think that's one of the struggles we have is, you know, we just kind of become creatures of habit. And the truth of it is our, our context has changed. Uh, you know, our mission is still the same. We still want to reach people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, but how we do that, uh, I think is, has changed with our culture. And so, uh, that's one of the biggest things I hear is, is it helped us to get outside of the box and outreach uh, and in reach. And so uh, it's it's been good to hear that from from real church members. 
That's good. And so you mentioned earlier, you've got this information on your Facebook page, your Arkansas Facebook page. Churches in Arkansas, what can they do to make contact with you? Uh, of course, the easiest way is is through our Arkansas Missions page uh, on Facebook, or they can just uh, go to our website, arfwb.org, uh, and uh, they can contact me through that, uh, through the missions link that's on there. Uh, or they can just email me at travis at arfwb.org. Uh, and so, uh, or or this, you know, my phone number is on the page. It's also, I think, on the Facebook. And so they can call me, reach out to me. But yeah, we 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 want to we want to get into churches and help them. So just just contact us. That's great. And you may be listening and saying, well, I'm not in the state of Arkansas. Well, I'm encouraging you to go to nafwb.org and go to the refresh page. There's a form you can complete, and we'll look for a rekindle coach like uh, Brother Travis in your particular area. And I should point out, Dr. Dwyer has trained over 100 pastors in the rekindle process. So it's very likely that there will be a rekindle coach in your particular area. I should also point out that uh, most of our coaches have also indicated they're willing to uh, try to coach via Zoom or uh, try to make a couple of trips to to make that work, even if they were quite some distance from you. So I uh, encourage you, if you're in Arkansas, reach out to Brother Travis Alexander, go to the Facebook page, go to um, the website. If you're somewhere else, we encourage you to go to nafwb.org and select the refresh page, and we'll look for a coach that could help you in your area. Well, Travis, thank you for not just the rekindle work, but E-Team and Puerto Rico and all the other things you all are doing in the state of uh, in the state of Arkansas. We should also mention uh, Brother David Taylor. He's a rekindle coach as well. So I'm going to say Arkansas has you guys have really been leading the way with this in your ministry. And we thank you, uh, Brother David. We thank you, Travis, for the good work you guys are doing in Arkansas. You're welcome. Thank you. And we want to thank you that are listening in to us today. If you know someone that might benefit from this podcast, please take it. Please share it with them. Remember, every little thing we do for the kingdom surely makes a difference. And we truly are better when we work together. Thank you for joining us today.